Hey, so today we're going to look at how to integrate Meraki Systems Manager with Okta for user enrollment. Now, there's multiple ways we can actually host users for user enrollment. Uh, we have Meraki hosted users, Active Directory and Azure. We have Google managed users and OpenID Connect. Now, what we're going to do today is actually set this up with OpenID Connect. Why would you need user enrollment? Well, it ensures that only registered users can enroll into your networks. It also ensures that um, when you're looking at a device in dashboard, uh, for whatever reason, it might be jailbroken or it might have an application missing, you know exactly who has that device. And lastly, when you're sending down configurations to a device like email or VPN or application configs, um, related specifically to a user, it helps them get set up without them actually having to provision those accounts on the device. Now, we actually have a really good article on enrollment, and a link to this is covered later in the presentation. So, like I said, there's multiple ways we can actually set Systems Manager up for enrollment. But I've chosen Okta here. Many of the customers that Meraki have are not huge enterprises, but smaller companies. Some of them lack an identity management system, uh, and some of them are using Okta already. So Okta is a great um, AD replacement uh, for smaller companies. So what we're going to do is we're going to firstly create a new application. And there's a couple of OpenID Connect applications already in here, but what we're actually going to do is click the Add Application button. Uh, we now create a new app. Uh, it's going to be a web platform, and the sign-on method is going to be OpenID Connect. We'll give the application a name such as Meraki SM Education. Uh, you can upload your own logo here as well. So when users go and log on, your logo is there in the Okta portal. We have a login redirect, which we can use. And again, here's the article which takes you through the OpenID Connect. Now, the reason I've brought you here is that we actually need all of these URLs. So what is a great idea to do is to actually just copy these and pop them into the text editor of your choice. So once you've made a copy of all of these URLs, we can move on to the next step. So just scroll down in the application that you've just created and start to fill in these URIs into the interface. There's quite a few. But once you've done that, we'll move on to the next bit. Now, what you should do also is just include the dashboard URL as well. In this particular case, mine is N207. Uh, yours may different. So just make a note of that as well and hit Save. Now we'll move on to the last part of setting up the API. What we need to do is enable the implicit allowed grant type. So we're just going to click Edit. We will tick this and allow ID token should automatically be selected. What we'll do also is just scroll down to client credentials. We're going to need the client ID, so copy that for later. We'll now move on to the Okta API. Back in your Okta dashboard, if you go to security and API, a default one should have already been set up for you. This contains some basic information, and as you can see, we have an issuer URL in there. We'll get to that later, but make a copy of it. We can also go through some of the scopes, clients, access policies, and token preview in here as well. But none of that is particularly relevant at the moment. What we now need to do is actually assign some users and groups to this particular application. So back to applications, pick the one that you've just created, and you see you now have the ability to add people or groups here. I'm just going to assign these two particular users, but for larger companies, use groups instead. We're now going to move on to the systems manager creation. So in the network you want to configure, 
click on Systems Manager and General. Scroll down to User Authentication, which should be towards the bottom, and change this to Open ID Connect. Now, remember how we made a copy of the issuer URL earlier? We're going to use that as the basis for all of the different URLs that you need. So paste these in if you already have them in a text editor. Don't forget your client ID that you made a copy of earlier, the token issuer claim, public keys endpoints, and change the public keys format to JWK. If you really want, you can also allow multi-user authentication as well if the OS device type supports it. Clicking on the little eye will give you some hints as to what these all actually are. Once you've done this, you can hit the Save button, and that's it configured. So lastly, we're going to actually go through what this enrollment flow actually looks like. So we've gone to the self-service portal, and as you can see, we've typed in our ID, and it's brought us now to the Okta portal. I can type in my username, I can type in the password, slowly. Then I will hit sign in. This will now take us and downloads the mobile config that we can install. So thank you for joining. Any problems, please contact the Meraki community at community.meraki.com.